Hey everybody. Good energy to you guys. <clears throat> so, you know, over 10 years ago, um, when I was in my early 20s, maybe even in my late teens, I always had this feeling that, <laughs> I mean, I would watch movies that I liked over and over and over again. Um, you know, people that grew up with me in Phoenix and my family know that for a very, 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 very long time, um, I had, you know, I always considered Brad Pitt my favorite actor. You know, I looked up to him um, in just about all the roles that he did. I mean, I'm trying to think, you know, I mean, yeah, all the roles, you know, I've never really seen him in a movie that I was like, eh. I, well, actually, that Killing Them Softly movie. I mean, even though it's kind of, I mean, I'd have to rewatch it again, but, you know, that movie did perpetuate a little bit of violence that um, I didn't think was the healthiest. Um, I think there's a good kind of moral message at the end, um, but I don't fully recall, so I don't want to say that for 100% accuracy. However, the majority of the films that he's made have all been inspiring to me. They've all been feeling good, have all helped me want to grow, have all helped inspire me to be a better man. And you know, him and, and many others too, um, but I bring him up because he was, for a very long time, I mean, you know, I mean, I would just talk about him fucking to the point where people thought I was gay, but it wasn't nothing about being gay, it was just looking up to something that helped inspire me. You know, when I look at his essence, when I look at his aura, I see something there that's beautiful, that's true, that's authentic, that's also wild and passionate and creative. And, you know, I mean, he's got, you know, you can recognize beauty in others. It doesn't mean it's a fucking sexual attraction. It just means, damn, that motherfucker's got some good genes. You know, he's got some good genius things going on inside of him. Because our genes, being a genius, is just about being original to yourself. And, you know, he's had a lot of good quotes for working out. You know, people ask him how he gets in shape and like he had a very simple answer. It's all just about listening to your body. Um, so, you know, things like that. I know he's into architecture and this and that. Um, so there's a lot of beautiful things about him. And when I saw him on a Tonight Show, I talked about this before, um, you know, I was all amped up to see him on an interview and shit. And when he came on there, he came on with like the most like humble kind of like i don't even want to be there like i'm tired of the fame like it, it wasn't somebody who was thirsting after fame it was like the opposite it was like somebody who's like i'm here because i've been requested to be here and so i'm here you know now other interviews in his past when he was younger you know there's a different aura but um you know i felt like that was a little bit more of his ego motivating his speech and you know influencing him than than the one that i saw that i'm talking about you know um so anyway, I'm talking about this stuff because, you know, like I said, back in my early 20s and I think late teens, I've always, I had this feeling like, you know, that these celebrities would come together, you know, that they would essentially, you know, become the parts that they played, you know, all these acting roles that they've done and all these, you know, <clears throat> messages that they portrayed out there and perpetuated, you know, I think that to really be able to play a role with a lot of authenticity and genuinity and inspiration and influence, one has to have a, a relatively very good connection to that actual character. So that's another reason with Brad Pitt, like when I see him in movies and stuff, like part of me doesn't even see him as an actor, it sees him as actually that character, that person, that energy that's portraying that role, or at least has the capability to do very similar things as the roles that he's playing. And I've seen this in many other actors as well. Um, again, I'm talking about Brad Pitt because for whatever reason, he's been, you know, to me, that which I've, you know, been able to relate to the most. Um, so, you know, like, yes, you know, the video I made last night, you know, I do want to start speaking on my YouTube channel personally to these people to try to help bridge the gap that is between, you know, humans on different levels of social status and resource capability. Because where we're going, where humanity needs to go in order to fucking change things for the better is to get over fucking our perceptional fucking limitations that, you know, project the idea that because somebody doesn't have this, somebody doesn't have that, that they're less than. And I'm not saying that's what these people are thinking. I do not know what they're thinking. But, you know, like when I'm walking around the cities and the streets, like the more downtown, the more richness that I get into, the less love that I feel. 
just this morning, like I'm walking around downtown and like people don't look you in the eye, they don't give you the head nod, but the poorer the area I am, the more poverty ridden area that I'm in, the more respect I get back from my soul. So this is how I know that a love of money is the root of all evil and that the more the higher up in the ladder you go, the less heart you have. You know, now if you're, and it's like, you know, and people will say, well, yeah, but they give back a lot. Yes, they do. And that's good. And that is going to help their heart. But as long as you're still trying to climb that fucking Babylonian ladder, man, you're still weighing down your heart. You know, now it's good. And I encourage all of y'all who are climbing that ladder and you all are giving back to continue to give back. But to know there's another way. Like if you've all already gotten up there, you don't got to continue climbing that ladder. Take some fucking steps down. Get back down to the earth. Root yourself in the ground. Get some good foundation. Spread your love. Do something that's different. Change it up. You know, become those roles that you portrayed so much. I see it in you. I have faith in you guys. You guys can do this. You guys can work together. You can let love guide you. You can let God's will guide you. You can let the word guide you and become a sword that we can use to defeat this enemy, which is the enemy within ourselves. But we have to learn how to help ourselves. And those of us that have been able, better able to help themselves can help others help themselves by creating a work-based opportunity and charity so that we can do good works that are good for all of the world and all of humanity and all of the animals and all of the plants and the water and all that shit and give back. And by doing this, they will help themselves. They will become more confident in themselves. They will become stronger in themselves. They will be more connected to God and love. And in doing so, we'll build a camaraderie that has, if not you know, already been dead is, is very close to being dead and is dying every day. The camaraderie, the feeling of brotherly love, of doing things together, it's one of the most beautiful thing, feelings you can fucking ever ask for. Like anybody that's been on a sports team, it's a real good team that, you know, they have honor, they take care of each other, they watch each other's back. Like in gangs too, like I know there's a lot of bad shit that goes into gangs, but we all, I think most of us, if not all of us, have a calling to want to be a part of something that's bigger than ourselves. And this society that we're, t we're in is a fucking mask that says that, yeah, we're all Americans, da 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 But the, what America has turned into is something that perpetuates evil. So now it's like we're all in this fucking giant evil fucking gang. And I'm just sitting here trying to tell those that I've seen portray good and beautiful messages, let's turn that gang around to something beautiful, something good, something that's about love. You know, we all have things to offer and share. The more that you give, the more that you give back. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to get back your money. You're going to get back spiritual essence. You're going to get back what you need. I don't know what you're going to get back, but I know that the Lord has always got what you need, and he knows what you need before you need it. So don't have no fear. Don't have no doubts. Let go of that which you're holding on to. Don't let the things that, as Brad Pitt said in Fight Club, don't let the things that you own end up owning you, or the things that you own do end up owning you. It's very true. Those came out of his mouth. I know it wasn't his words. It was from an author, but he portrayed that character very well. And there's a reason why it's always had a cult following. So I encourage y'all, man, let's, let's get together. Let's do this thing. Let's share what we have to share and fucking create a new reality for us all to live in. That's good for everybody and everything. All right. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.